Oh, baby girl's moving right now. <laughs> I'm doing well in comparison and... Um channel so today I am just bringing you my quick pregnancy update please disregard the look because I'm just getting to that point where I'm like I can't come on here looking you know put together every time today is just one of those days this is how I looked going out on the street and you know what it's just me in my natural state um, it's not I just have on a little face powder but Outside of that, I've got nothing. So just bear with me. Um, anyways, I am doing, this is my 29 week update. Technically I'm 29 weeks and four days. And if you do watch my vlogs, you would have seen in the last vlog that I indicated that I am actually a week ahead. So I officially went to my OB this week um, because I was discharged from the fertility clinic at 20 weeks. And so I had to wait like a whole eight weeks to get in to see my OB because they don't see people until 28 weeks. Anyways, I went in, I saw him, and we determined based on like the numerous ultrasounds, ultrasounds I had that I'm actually 29 weeks, indicating that I was like a whole week ahead. And as awesome as it sounds, I think in all my other pregnancies, I would have been like, yes, but just because in this case, I'm currently wrapping up my last semester of school, so that just makes for crunch, you know, crunch time is even... I, I don't know. It's just scary. So that's what I'm at. This is my 29, 29 week update. A lot has changed. Y'all can see just by looking at me that my face has changed a bit. I have, I am swollen guys, like nothing extensive. Like I can, my hands feel fine. I'm starting to feel a swelling in my legs for sure. Um, and this actually occurred in the 28 weeks, 27 weeks. And 28 weeks, which I, uh, like, because I tend to update you guys every two weeks and I completely miss those. I was thrown off by the fact that I'm actually a week ahead. So I I did experience swelling in my feet twice. However, that kind of subsided. But now I'm actually just experiencing just like the general swelling that goes along with pregnancy when you're this far along. So that's what I'm feeling. I'm experiencing that. Also, according to the app, I would be experiencing similar symptoms to what I experienced in the first portion, which are like heartburn, frequent urination. And yes, heartburn is back full force because I every time I eat, I just, it's just there and I'm popping Tums all over again. Um, secondly, the frequent urination thing is a thing. I am going to the loo a lot, <laughs> to the bathroom, and I am actually trying to drink, keep myself really hydrated. I'm still out of breath, as y'all can hear, still out of breath. In terms of um, hunger, there are times here and there where I feel, felt like I was starving and I was just like eating, eating, eating. But the funny thing is now that my stomach is so big, my belly's grown so much and baby's so much bigger, I have less room in my tummy to consume anything. So I kind of, I'm the one that's kind of like cutting my meals a little bit in half. Like I'll eat and I'll eat and then I'm like, oh gosh, like I feel stuffed already. So, um, that's a thing, you know, feeling hungry is one thing, but, um, you get stuffed really fast when you're this far along. Another uh, thing is, once again, if you did, if you do watch the vlogs, you would have heard that I said I failed my glucose test. And it's just interesting because my the fertility clinic, I, they gave me that the requisition for that to complete right when they were discharging me and said they would forward all my information to my OB. And if there was any kind of red flags or anything, they would... Um, you know, obviously the OB would see me even sooner. However, I failed my glucose test. I got an 8.4. You're supposed to try to get a 7.8 and, 7 and under. And yeah, that's what's up. So they didn't tell me anything. I've been going eight weeks no, not even knowing anything. And now I have to go do the two-hour test because I failed that one. So we'll see what happens. Um the drink was not the greatest because I'm not a pop drinker but 
you know, we'll get through. <laughs> my baby has grown so much. My belly feels a lot heavier. Baby's really active. However, I do experience these days where the baby tends to like to flip inwards and is facing my rib, my, not my rib cage, my spine. And this has happened numerous times, like in the beginning, like stages when I was like in, you know, the double digit months. When I got all those ultrasounds, they would check the baby and the baby was always facing backwards and that, and she likes to do that every now and again. She just flips in that position and it becomes so awkward for me because I then feel, I don't know, the way she positions herself just puts so much pressure on my pelvis and I'm having difficulties walking from time to time. Um, she also like kicks my organs so that's even di that's different because when she's kicking frontwards like it's like oh I can feel your baby and I can talk to her and connect with her and all that good stuff <clears throat> yeah and connect with her and all that good stuff but when she's kicking towards my organs it just does it feels so incredibly uncomfortable and it's just not a fun time I can feel her kicking on my bladder at times and I feel like I really just need to go to the, run to the washroom or just, I don't even know what else she's kicking on, but it's just not a good feeling. So that's a thing. Um, what else? Weight gain. I feel like I've talked about it a lot. That's why I tend to not want to talk about it, but weight gain. So upon my OB's visit, the visit to the OB, I learned that I gained, I officially gained 30 pounds at 29 weeks. and. Uh, I was a little shocked because I have two scales at home. Y'all know about the scales that they just, you know, haven't been doing what they're supposed to do. Well, technically the, the one was, but I thought that was the one that was way off. However, it's not. Um, so I, yeah, I gained 30 pounds and as much as it was like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not like super sad about it just because like I said with my first y'all know about the weight that I gained with my other pregnancies 175 and 80, or 185 and 75 pounds that's a lot of weight so I'm doing well in comparison oh baby girl's moving right now <laughs> I'm doing well in comparison and um I'm thinking like with another with another what I would say like eight weeks to go given that I'm almost 30 weeks and I'm going to pretty much like 38 and a half weeks I'm thinking even if I gain say a pound a week I don't know if that's realistic a pound a week that would be good yeah I'm thinking if I gained like say another 10 pounds in that time frame that'll be 40 pounds overall and you know give or take if I have to get, lose 25 pounds from pregnancy that's like oh that's pretty good not it's not a hundred and it's not you know 80 so I'm I'm thankful so far I haven't been going on the treadmill a, a lot because I've been really tired as well I've been feeling so sluggish and it's because I kind of stay up late to do work and um you know it's just a part of the program and just with all the different things that I've got going on at the current moment I'm quite busy I'm doing bible study I'm doing small group um the kids are doing their Atwana they're doing youth they're doing their homeschooling um co-op program um and it's just a lot and so you guys know I obviously omitted like gymnastics and trampoline and the whole gym gym and swim type things I omitted them this season because I just felt like I had too much to go on and I still need to get baby's room ready my shower is this weekend so that's super exciting I've been a good girl trying to refrain from buying any excess things. So I, yeah, I've been refraining from trying to buy anything till I see what I get at my shower and then I can move forward with that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, another thing. So with regards to what I was saying about my pelvis and sitting on a bouncy ball, um, I'm, I really need to go to a chiropractor. I really do because it's been bad like my back not my back but just my pelvis area has been hurting and sometimes it's unbearable I can barely walk and it's not good uh even though when I'm outside I just kind of troop it out and I'm just doing the normal walk like everything's fine but sometimes it's like ah oh, that kind of hurts <laughs> so um I'm hanging in there I'm not complaining I'm so thankful I feel so blessed and 
this baby here is um, just, I don't know, she's been a huge blessing. Like I said, when she turns and, and faces the wrong way, it just freaks me out sometimes because I'm like, ah, oh, I can't really feel you. Or then I start feeling her pound on my organs backwards. But I do enjoy when she is facing the correct direction, if there's such a thing. So I can feel her actually moving and can see her from, you know, moving outside. So that is what's up. Um, yeah, you guys can definitely see that my features have changed a little bit. I definitely have pregnancy phase going on. My nose is swollen. My lips are swollen. I indicated in that, my video that I'm swollen and someone wrote, you're swollen. And I was thinking, uh, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> I know this. Trust me. I took my hair out, guys, out of um, my braids. And I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my shower because I wanted to look a little cute. But I don't know. I might just end up doing something like this. Obviously, maybe just a little bit more sleek of a puff. And maybe using some kind of a braid or something extension to just kind of create a cute little bun. Because I just... Uh, I don't know. I'm just in the midst of trying to get all I need to get done. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, sleeping at night, same struggle as usual. I didn't give in to buying that pillow. I saw it and hubby keeps telling me to buy it. And I'm just like, I don't want to spend $99 on this schnoodle or whatever it's called. So I'm just sucking it up and sleeping with my, um, just my long body pillow. Because every time I'm, I endure, I get to a certain point I'm like I got this far I should be okay right <laughs> it's just and I'm thinking the less I spend now the more I can spend in areas that I actually want to as opposed to just buying some pillow to lay on but you know this pregnancy is just flying by it seriously is just flying by so I'm just trying to enjoy every little minute of it so that's pretty much it guys I think that is all I will be doing my next update on time I guess it will be at 31 weeks um, I do have a haul video that I wanted to show I have actually two hauls that I want to show and that I will be doing a baby shower haul as well so yeah stay tuned I've got three hauls three separate hauls waiting and I've got I'm gonna be doing a nursery tour I'm actually trying to put the nursery together and yeah, there's just so much to come. So at the end, I told you guys I'm going to be wrapping up my studies at the end of November. And then I'll have the full month of, well, no, I'll have like 20 odd days in December to try to get my life together real fast before baby girl arrives. And um, yeah, that's when I'll be doing some stuff. I'll also be doing a what's in my hospital bag, which I've yet to pack. So yeah, I'm going to get on that real quick. Um that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, don't forget to share them with others who will, you know, enjoy them, these pregnancy updates, because I enjoy watching other people, other women's pregnancy update to at least kind of see where I'm at and to see if our symptoms are similar and all that jazz. And it's just fun. So um, much love, guys. Thanks. Bye.